Today, we will do the auxiliary engine crankshaft deflection. Let's go and take the step-by-step -step procedure on doing this important deflection measurement. Once pre-maintenance procedure has been completed, proceed with opening the crankshaft covers to access the crankwebs. Turn the engine through the turning gear and set the unit nearest to the flywheel on bottom dead center. Mount the dial gauge between two crank webs and rotate the crankshaft according to measuring positions. The dial gauge must be fixed to initial zero position prior measurements. It is important to take note that deflections may vary with measuring conditions, and it is advised to measure in cold engine state. Rotate the crankshaft to measure all positions and read the values on the dial gauge. Record your readings for evaluation. Take note, only deviation from zero setting of dial gauge shall be recorded. When the dial gauge gives readings on a compressed state, the value is always negative. If the dial gauge moves toward expansion, the value for the reading is positive. Repeat the measurement procedure for all remaining units. Always refer to shop test results for comparison of deflection values. There are permissible limits to serve as basis for the evaluation of crankshaft alignment. Figures are different for units nearest the flywheel and at the same time whether the engine is newly overhauled and have been running for good number of long running hours. To properly assess the deflection measurements, refer to formula provided by the manufacturer manual and calculate as per actual readings from the onboard deflection test. If the values exceed the permissible limits, contact maker for advice on realignment and service check.